Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if you are interested in print on demand, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to create this design right here. This is another sort of vintage style Christmas design. Vintage style is, you know, very popular and it's trending a lot right now so it's a good design to make and of course you can utilize this to create many other designs with the same general style so if this is something that you would like to learn about go ahead and stick around okay so here we are on canvas home page and we are going to be creating a fun christmas design um, which is going to be another circular design, which is great for whether you're putting it on a t-shirt or a circular object like an ornament or a pop socket. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to custom size. Um, for t-shirt, I'm gonna be just go ahead and put this on 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That way it's the most versatile. I am gonna be designing for black. So I will go ahead and just select black as my background color here. And then we're gonna start with our circular design. So to do that, and I've showed you this a few times before, we're gonna go up to elements. I'm gonna go ahead and look for a circle outline. Perfect. And I'm going to go to my graphics and I'm gonna be selecting um, some circle outlines. So I do want something where I can change the color. I am just looking for a nice white circle here. So honestly, this one is looking pretty good. And I do like to just line everything up in the center of my page. That makes it the easiest to work with. And so once I have that circle, I can go ahead, I can hit Control D. That should duplicate it, assuming I actually, whoop, assuming I was clicked on it, I can duplicate it there. So now I've got two copies of the same circle and I put them right on top of one another. From here, I can go ahead and crop. So if I was to double click, um, it'll pull up these corners here. And then what I do is click on the corner and drag straight down. And so I'm gonna crop that one. I'm gonna click the other one and pull on the corner and drag straight up. And so what it should do is leave a nice opening here for you. And we're gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna pull up that circle again. Again, I want it to be white. And this time it is the center circle. So I do want to leave some space around the edges. So something there, that size looks pretty good. You can always kind of click out and see how much space you have for your text. And I think that that's a good size. Once you've decided on your size, I'm just gonna repeat the exact same process. I'm gonna duplicate it, double click, drag one up, click on the other one, double click, and drag one down. And that's going to give you your overall shape for what you're working with. And so once you get good at this, it's, it's really easy to start. And of course, if you already have a template, then you can just work with that as well. So for this one, we're gonna be doing a cool Christmas design. And so what it's gonna say is it's gonna say North Pole Brewing Company. So let's go ahead and just start easy with some text. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard. That's gonna pull up a text box. Let's go ahead and just start putting some text in here. So the first one is gonna be uh, North Pole, okay? And that's gonna go here. I'm gonna pull up another text box. Uh, Brewing Company, I'm just gonna put Co. And that one's gonna be the one that sort of goes in the middle here, something there. I'm gonna pull up another text box. The bottom one is gonna say Christmas Spirits. That one is going to be going down here, okay? So we can start with these. There's gonna be a little bit more text, but let's start with the basics. Make this a little bit bigger so you sort of see how it's gonna work. And we're gonna to have to pick some fonts. So font selection is usually the thing that takes the longest for me because I always wanna make sure I pick a good font for what I'm working with. Um, so that's where you're gonna to wanna to sort of take your time. Uh, for, I want something that's gonna be bold, easy to read, that looks nice. And so after looking for a while, and I did look for a while, the fonts that I came up with were for the top and the bottom, I came up with one called Sergio Trendy. And I do believe that this is available on um, Creative Fab, I'm not Creative Fabrica, on um, Canva. So you should be able to get this one, even if you don't have any outside fonts. 
And so I'm going to make both the top and the bottom Sergio Trendy. And I do want these to be all caps here too. So I'm just gonna hit uppercase where you get the little A and the big A. And we'll just go ahead and make those uppercase. And I'm gonna start with the bottom line here. And I'm probably gonna need to make it a little bit smaller to make sure it all fits in here. But we're gonna go ahead effects and I'm gonna curve it. We're gonna have to curve it the other direction. <laughs> Maybe not quite that tight. Let's see, let's bring it up so that it fits in here and go ahead and sort of get that nice general curve. Something like that looks pretty good. I'll keep it there for now. I'm gonna do the same thing here with the North Pole. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Sort of go ahead, center it. We're gonna go to effects. I'm gonna curve again. This one will be curving down. And again, I'm just trying to sort of get it like that. Now we can play with them a little bit more as we go, but you can see how that's looking already. And then Brewing Company, that one I wanted to be nice and big all the way across. And so for this one, I think I actually wanted a capital B and a capital C, but then the rest was lowercase. And the font that I decided to go with on this one, after searching for a while, by the way, was one called, I think it is Berkshire. Bark, Berkshire, let's see. Nope, how am I spelling this right? Berkshire, maybe? There it is, Berkshire Swash. This one was also available on Canva, so again, if you don't have any other outside fonts, you should still be able to get this one here. And so what I'm gonna do is make that nice and big and going straight across the middle like that. And so we can already see sort of the way that this is going to go. So now from here, what I'm going to do is sort of make all of these lines and everything fit where it fit the brewing company essentially. So I want it to go so that it looks like it looks nice with Brewing Co. So I can bring this down. And one thing that I think I showed you guys in the other video was how to make these lines a little bit different. So if I was to go ahead and hit Control D and copy that, and then go ahead and just line it right up where it is, I can go ahead and now crop the top one in and down and what you can see is it's going to go now all the way down to the letter and so that is one thing that i like to do just to um, try to make them look like they fit as well as possible i'm going to bring this up so that it just got a little gap there that looks nice and then i'm going to take the bottom circle i have to bring that into the back here take my bottom circle i'm going to crop that one back up too the bottom is pretty easy to do. And I may end up doing the same thing that I did up here where I just go ahead and hit Control D so I've got a duplicate copy there. And then take my duplicate, it's gonna crop in and it's gonna crop up just a little bit more. And so something sort of like that. Depends how close I want it to go. Cool. So that looks pretty cool there. And then one more time for this top one, I'm gonna do the same thing, Control D. Oops, line it up. I'm going to bring it way down, maybe there, maybe there. Good. Hmm. Maybe not quite that far down. There, something like that. So now I've got my my cool circle, it all looks like it's going pretty good. I'm gonna take my North Pole now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the letter spacing so that it fills this top area a little bit better. And so I can go to spacing, and I can just bring that letter spacing out, and so like it looks like it's filling the top a little bit better. And now the bottom one, it looks pretty good as is. I also think I'm gonna take this and bring it maybe a little bit higher in the circle so that it looks like it's centered real nice. I like that. And then the Christmas spirits, we might be able 
to make that a little bit bigger. Now, if I make it a little bit bigger, I am gonna have to, oops, make sure I get the right line. If I do make that a little bit bigger, I am gonna have to tighten the circle a little bit. So let's say I made the font a tiny bit bigger, and then I go ahead and tighten my circle up just a little bit more, something like that. There we go. So that looks pretty cool as is. I also wanted to do a little bit of sort of design work in here. So you do want to add a little something. So I'm going to put maybe a little bit of a Christmas tree and then maybe one of those established by dates. And then down here, I'm going to put, you know, premium or something. So let's go ahead and why don't we look for a little just Christmas tree and see what I got. And I'm looking for something silhouette more like this. And so you can sort of play with what you've got. And so I'm just gonna scroll down and see what I have. Here's a possibility. Little Christmas tree here. It gives it a nice natural Christmas tree look. So something like that. Maybe a couple little trees on the side might look good too. So again, if I was to control let me center it, oops, control D, and maybe put a couple little smaller ones down by the side like that works pretty nicely. Control D, and so something like that can look kind of cool. So I like that's kind of nice. And then let's go ahead and pull up some more text. And I'm gonna have one line that says established. And I'll pick a different font here in a second, but established would go here. And let's just hit Control D so I get the same size. And then let's go ahead, let's pick a date, 1932. I'm just picking a random year, by the way. Established 1932. Now for this, I want it to be a little bit of a smaller font. So again, you can play with different fonts. If you go to like corporate, it's going to give you some of these sort of more smaller basic fonts here. I need it to be a tiny bit wider. What do I got? A like. That one looks good. There we go. Something like that looks kind of nice there. And again, I can bring that up just a smidge. Maybe bring that up just a smidge. Something like yay. I think I'm gonna take these trees and make them a little bit smaller. So I like the way that looks and then I just wanna fill this spot down here. So again, I'm going to hit T on my keyboard. And this one's just gonna say premium. And I'll put premium right here. I might even just keep it as the same font I have there. That looks kind of nice. So something yay big. And so that's pretty cool. I like the way that looks. Maybe I add a little like flourish or something, top and bottom. What do I have for flourish? And so for flourish, I'm just looking for a really simple sort of maybe top and bottom line. So even that is a little bit more detailed than I like. Maybe just like a little swish or something. So what do I got? Hmm. Here's possibility. That's a nice, just easy flourish. It is a little asymmetrical. I think I was hoping for something maybe a little bit more in the symmetrical range. What do I have? Are there any other ones very similar? So that's a good possibility right there. It's just a simple little line. And again, you can sort of play with all the different ones. Here's another little double one there. And so I'm just looking for something simple like that. But you get the idea. So now what I'm gonna do is I wanna add a little bit of color. And so what I'm thinking of is go ahead and make the, um, the text some different colors. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. I think I'm gonna, oops, why did I do that? So I think I'm gonna make uh, the top and bottom text sort of a greenish color. And I want something, I'm looking for a shade of green. 
that is maybe a little bit, I want it to be relatively light, but I also want it to be a little bit more muted in color. Something maybe like that, so that it gives it just a little bit more of a vintage style. So nothing too bright, but nothing so dark that it's not gonna show up. And so something there looks good. And then the brewing company, I was gonna go with sort of a red. Same general idea. I do like that red there. Maybe something down a little bit more in that general shade. And then what I was going to do was get a white outline around the brewing company to make it pop. So we'll go to effects. I'm gonna go to outline. Let's go ahead and select white. I'm gonna bring that thickness. That looks pretty cool. I like that thickness there. And then what I was actually thinking of doing is making all of these that nice gold color. So if I was to change all of these to the same gold as that nice swirl there, let's see, there you go. And so this is just sort of where you would go ahead and play. And one more time here. So something like that looks pretty nice. It's gonna pop. I still don't know that I like the shade of green so much. I can always look for different shades by just going with maybe like vintage, let's say vintage Christmas and see what shades of green I can get to come up with vintage Christmas and see if I can get any green shades that I like. Like for example, this green here kind of looks nice. So what I could do is put that there and I could match that green by doing that. Now it does make it a little bit darker than I'd like, but you can kind of see how you can play with matching some of those shades to to sort of get that vintage look. Now, if it's too dark, but I like the general shade, I can again go here, and now I'm just gonna kind of come up with it. So if I come straight up, not, I'm gonna make it lighter. Oops. Eh. Maybe there. Okay. So after playing with the colors for a little bit, I decided to go ahead and just do something like this. It's bright enough that it is going to stand out against a dark shirt. It looks good, it's bold. It's got that nice circular design that would look good either on a t-shirt or on a pop socket or on a coaster or on an ornament or anything that you like. Uh, it would also look good maybe on a mug, but only if you did a dark color mug. Of course, I could always change these white to a darker color and then pop that on a light background. So lots of different ways that you could play with this. But this is a nice, easy design that you can make using nothing but Canva. Um, and so just so you can see, you can get some really cool designs just on Canva. I might even go ahead and bring that spacing out just a little bit farther so that it really kind of goes all the way around. And so there you go. I like the way that that looks. Okay, so I played a little bit more, but once you have it the way that you like it, all you're gonna do is group the whole thing together and now you can go ahead and move it anywhere in your page and center it to make sure it's at the top of the page if you're doing a t-shirt. You can go ahead and change the size depending on how big or small you want it. And it's pretty simple, ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and title the entire design North Pole Brewing Company. And we can go ahead and download that. It's gonna have a transparent background and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit download. And so pretty quick, pretty easy, simple to go ahead and put on a shirt or anything else. So again, be as creative with these kinds of designs as you like, but um, just remember that sort of that vintage style design sells pretty well and so um, you can make a whole bunch of these. Um, and if you need some design ideas, you can go ahead and put you know, vintage Christmas design on Amazon and search for what's selling. You can go over to Creative Fabrica and just put Christmas vintage and see what comes up. And it'll give you all sorts of cool designs um, that you can make. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, 
be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.